Hey everybody, my name is Carissa and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Inky Fairy Designs, or you might be watching this on the Ranger Ink YouTube channel. Either way, thank you for being here. We're going to be making this art journal page today using a lot of my favorite Dina Wakely Media products. I am starting in her original journal using a page that was um, kind of like my wipe off page with when I was creating other uh, journal pages and I'm gonna start adding some paint right over the top of that not really worrying about it and um, I'm pulling out uh, turquoise and mineral and these colors together are so pretty um, really really enjoying the way that they mix together and create a really light blue color I use my palette knife to just swipe that paint around and really not overthink it when i'm creating a background i don't really like to overthink it so i will use palette knives i will use brayers i will use my fingers very rarely will i use a paintbrush <laughs> um, most of my paintbrushes are used for collaging and gel medium and all that kind of stuff um, but yeah that's kind of the way that i like to create so this page was inspired or is inspired by fall I'm using a lot of my favorite colors from nature that I love during this season. One of the things that um, I always find in October is that the skies look just incredibly blue, bluer than any other time of the year, I promise. I, th I don't know if it's the coolness, the crispness. Um, uh, you know, a lot of times there, there's no clouds unless the, we're getting a storm. Um, but yeah, I love that. And that was my inspiration of using the turquoise and the mineral together. And then, um, I love the aspen leaves when they change colors here and they are a beautiful golden color. And so that's why I pulled out lemon, but then we also have some beautiful evergreens and I wanted to incorporate that as well. And so I used olive mixed with evergreen to create that little strip of green and yellow color. And then, I don't know, this Sedona like sits in my paint caddy and it totally mocks me. It's like, you know you want to use me, uh, but you don't know how. <laughs> and I just try and try and try to make this color work and I just don't know if I'm finding the right combinations yet but I am determined and so it did find its way on this page um, right now I'm going over it kind of just outlining it with fuchsia wanted to give it a little bit more of a cooler tone I think it's the warm tone of Sedona I mean do you have a color that really you like but you don't know how to use it or what to use it with i know i need to go back and look at some suggestions with sedona and i will figure it out i promise but it ended up here and i think in the end it looks okay so right now i am pulling out a scribble stick uh, i'm using fuchsia and i am just writing some things about fall and autumn the things that i love the things that um maybe i don't love so much um, but i'm just journaling all of that down as part of the background very very loosely very very scribbly and messy and then one thing that i really love about using the scribble sticks for this type of journaling where you're just processing your emotions or your thoughts or your feelings and it's not really meant to be read after the fact I can spritz it with some water which is what I'm gonna do here in a second and it's going to just disappear I mean it's not gonna disappear completely I'm still gonna have that beautiful color and texture on my page but it's just going to make it so that it's just not readable at all so I pulled out some gesso, like I said. I, I really do, like I do like the way it looks right here. Maybe I don't like the red dots so much, <laughs> but um, I felt like I needed to push it back a little bit. So here I am adding that gesso to my brayer and just kind of swiping it a little bit here and there and not covering it completely, but I am pushing it back just slightly and as the gesso dries it does lighten so you see more of that um, showing through 
I love this new collage paper by Dina Wakely. It is the vintage scribbles, I think. Um, you, you know, there's always a full list of supplies over on the Ranger Inc. blog, or you can check out the supplies listed uh, in my YouTube description below as well. Um, but I love this white. I love that we get it in white and black. And I really wasn't sure how to use the white ones until I saw Dana sharing a technique where she uses paint or sprays and the white in, acts as a resist. And since I've seen that, I've been obsessed with that technique and I decided to use it with the Distress Oxide sprays, which are awesome. And I pulled out well, I pulled out the only colors that I have, which is fossilized amber, picked raspberry, and peacock feathers. I really love those colors together, and I find having a product in some version of the primary colors, you get a lot of variation, and um, you don't necessarily need all the colors, although I totally have full set syndrome, and I want all the colors, but to start off before I realize you know, that I love something, I'm going to use it often. Um, getting like a red version, a yellow, a yellow version and a blue version really allows me to play and figure out that medium before I go all out on it. So I added some spray to it and I'm wiping it off really well to reveal that white. Um, and you can see how it totally resists the spray. It's really, really awesome. And I'm going to place it on my page using the gel medium. And here's my paintbrush. Like I said, <laughs> it's going to come out when I'm adding gel medium and adding collage to my page. Um, definitely love them for that. And um, so I'm just going to smooth that on there, get it where I want it. I love the um, whatever the tissue is that this paper is on. It is thin enough to collage and um, really kind of blend into the page but it's also thick enough that I can lift it up and move it around if I'm not super happy with where I put it at the first place and it doesn't tear e as easily as like super fine tissue paper or napkins would so I really really love um, the the paper or whatever the collage sheets are made of they're really really cool so now I'm going to add some stenciling because I really love this fractured or distressed, I don't know what it's called, chevron shape stencil. It's part of the latest release and I love the jumbo size of them. I know that was designed primarily for larger substrates like the larger journal, which I have yet to crack open, um, but it works really great in the original as well. And I like that you get two different sizes of that. Um, so you can play with the variation of it. What I've done is I have um, created a little mixture off on my craft sheet of the turquoise mineral and I added a little bit of night to it to just give it some more dimension and I'm stenciling it through with a um, makeup sponge because that's what I had on hand and um, just adding it on there. I really like the way that it draws the eye across the page and ties in that blue that I had in the background that I kind of covered up with the gesso earlier. Um, so now I had some excess left on my craft mat and I'm just using my fingers to frame the page. Um, just kind of finish it up a little bit and tie it all together. Um, I really do like to do that either in my journals or on canvases. I just like to bring that around the edge of the page and it just frames it out really nicely. I'm going to dry all of that with my heat tool and I'm really loving this medieval color. I think, no, 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 it's called ancient. Um, yeah, it's ancient. <laughs> It's one of the metallics, it's gold, and um, originally I was totally obsessed with Rosie, used that on everything, but this color has made its way into my heart and I really, really like it. And so I have been using it on a lot of pages and I am just adding a bit of accent in the middle of those chevron shapes. And then I will also um, highlight the heart in the collage page here. Um, with some of that same paint. 
Oh, look, I'm using a paintbrush, too. I do use it to paint. <laughs> so just adding a little bit more texture to the page. Um, one of the final things that I'd like to do is add an outline and some shading to my collage pieces just to make them stand out a bit more. And to do that, I'm using a Stabilo all-purpose pencil. Um, it is a water-based uh, pencil and I can activate it with a wet paintbrush and that just will create um, some shading and shadow around the collage and I'd like to do this because I don't want it to blend in too much to the background and I want it to stand out on its own and this creates that um, uh, silhouette and um, gives it some um, <laughs> some shading to stand out from the background I just said that so I'm saying it again <laughs> so I'm just gonna go around it um, a few times and um, till I'm happy with it I didn't cut it out as close to the figure as I probably should have or in hindsight wanted to and so I just covered it up with the stabilo and kind of went where I wanted it to be and just covered that up so you can see I'm really really kind of scribbling heavily here so that it will get darker and kind of cover up the collage that's still there and in the end it works I like it but um, I would have rather maybe just gone with what I cut out or cut it out better so there's my quote um, I did print it out on um, some printer paper from my computer and this was part of the inspiration behind my page and the colors that I use as well as the silhouette that I used on there. Um, this quote is really, really beautiful. It says, October is about the trees revealing colors they've hidden all year. And then it says, people have an October too. And I found that to be very interesting because it's it's true like the trees are beautiful and then they bloom one last time in the fall and they release all of this gorgeous color into the world that we didn't know was there and I think as people as humans as artists as creatives we have that same beauty within and you're just waiting for the right season to release it and experience it. And so I hope that this quote inspires you to look for that beauty and to let others experience that, um, whatever it may be. It's different for every single person. So I love that. I love using quotes in my journals, um, quotes that touch me, inspire me, and make me think. So one of the last things that I'm going to do here is I'm going to take out my food ball uh, journaling pen. I'm going to do some scribbling around that silhouette. And then I'll do the same thing around uh, each of the blocks of letters. And that just kind of highlights them. And again, same with the uh, Stabilo. It um, gives them some framing to separate them from the background. And that about wraps up this page. I really enjoyed putting this together and I hope you like this video. Whether you're watching it on my channel or Ranger Inc, please uh, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I really do appreciate that. Um, and if you are on Ranger Inc, I'd love it if you hopped on over to my YouTube channel, Inky Fairy Designs. Take a look there. I have some awesome playlists filled with more mixed media videos. If that's something that you are interested and in looking for, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. And um, to all of my subscribers, if you're not following Ranger Inc., I don't know what you're waiting for. They've got lots of great ideas and tips over there. So here are some close-ups, and um, I really do just love this page enjoyed creating it and i hope it inspires you to look at the seasons around you and maybe think about them and journal them for yourself 
And if you do, please tag me on social media at Inky Fairy Designs. I would love to see what you are creating inspired on these project tutorials. That's why I do them. I hope they give you a jumping off place and I love to see them when you do. So thank you again for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.